President kills off having a full state visit amid fear of protests and will make working trip to London instead. Donald Trump has told British Prime Minister Theresa May he will visit Britain in the new year, but will not meet the Queen, it emerged Tuesday. The President and the Prime Minister instead discussed a working visit to London, which is penciled in for late February. Trump will use the trip to open the new U.S. Embassy in London, while he is also expected to hold talks with the Prime Minister in Downing Street. But a planned meeting with the Queen will not take place until he makes a full state visit, plans for which are on ice. The decision comes after months of questions over the state visit, which Mrs. May offered the President when they met at the White House after his inauguration. The President's visit to the UK comes despite a series of public clashes with Mrs. May, including the major row last month when the Prime Minister condemned Mr. Trump's decision to retweet anti-Muslim propaganda from far-right group Britain First. The PM was also critical of Mr. Trump recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, the move the UK views as damaging to hopes for a two-state solution. No mention of Mr. Trump's trip to the UK was made in readouts of the call released by No. 10 and the White House. But a Whitehall source said Mr. Trump had told the PM he would be visiting Britain to attend the opening of the pound's 750 million American embassy, as reported in the Mail this month. Earlier this year more than a million people signed a petition calling for a planned state visit to be cancelled, raising the prospect that Mr. Trump could spark the biggest protests since the Iraq war when one million protested in London. The new U.S. Embassy has a moat, toughened glass that can withstand the rocket-propelled grenade and even its own contingent of U.S. Marines. The building's architect James Timber Lake described it as the safest building in Britain. However, moving Mr. Trump around London is likely to prove a major security headache. The president showed his displeasure at recent criticism from Mrs. May by making her wait 13 days to discuss Israel. When the two leaders finally spoke last night they tried to paper over their differences. Mr. Trump noted the UK had backed the United Nations Security Council resolution, vetoed by the US, which rejected the recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Mrs. May told him the UK doesn't agree with the move, but she looked forward to seeing promised US plans for peace in the region. The Prime Minister made no mention of the Twitter row which sparked fresh calls for Mr. Trump to be banned from Britain. He had provoked a diplomatic rift last month when he retweeted three hate videos produced by Britain First. At the time, Mrs. May condemned his actions as wrong, leading him to hit back on Twitter, telling her, Three for me, don't focus on me, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. Labour MP Barry Sherman said any visit by Mr. Trump would spark unparalleled demonstrations in this country. The U.S. president pulled out of a planned state visit because of concerns about protests. But diplomats have decided it is untenable for Mr. Trump to indefinitely avoid visiting one of the US closest allies. Government sources insisted last night's phone call had been pretty genial, with Mr. Trump said to have been interested in Mrs. May's Brexit breakthrough. Note 10 said they had agreed on the importance of a swift post-Brexit trade deal. They also discussed Mr. Trump's plans for massive tax cuts in the U.S., which have alarmed some senior figures in the West, including Chancellor Philip Hammond.